there's been a lot of protests going around all around the uh, uh, all around the country and all around the world. Actually, this is international. Um, a it's like a it's like the American Spring, um, just like a bunch of people rising up. They're protesting. Sadly, some are turning into riots. We can talk. We've we've talked extensively about riots before. You can go back and watch um, my mindset on on riots. Um, I, I won't uh, go into that right now, but. A lot of people's ire is being turned to um, the structures of racism that still live and breathe in our country today. And I think that's a really good thing. When our institutions fail us, we should have an obligation to change them by whatever means we feel necessary. Um, Obviously, if that does not mean like rounding up and systematically like murdering uh, like, uh, you know, political officials. I'm not sure if that's exactly how we go about these things. But um, when it comes to defacing property, when it comes to um, uh, going after uh, buildings um, uh, um, uh, of our uh, of our elected officials, things like that, um, symbols of oppression in our society, I think that's completely fair game. And we see that manif- manifest around the country in the destruction of many statues of reprehensible human beings um, who live um, atop us, who look down upon us, their effigies look down upon us, um, honoring them in spite of the horrible things that they stood for in their lives. And I know when it comes to history, there are a lot of people who have a lot of reprehensible views that's just how it was in the past and even in the future we're going there's going to be people who are going to say the same things about us so we shouldn't hold our so i think we should i think we should still hold ourselves to a standard but i think we should put it uh put lots of people's actions into context but listen if we're going to talk about slave holders and everything from like the 1800s and on everybody knew that was bad (laughs) most everybody knew that was in some way bad okay you weren't you weren't like looked at as like a like a like the the uh, uh, like a great person. It wasn't exactly like owning a horse today or something. With that being said, in North Carolina the other day, something incredible happened. Actually, a big show of force from uh, uh from our boys down in uh, North Carolina, and this is from Relay uh, Rally. Wait, how do you pronounce this? Rally. Is that rally? I think it is. I never learned how to pronounce this. <laughs> I never said it out loud before. Um, where they tore down a statue of a Confederate soldier. Wait a second. Is that pl- wait? Is that playing through my? Wait. Wait. Is that playing through my hits? Rayleigh. Okay. Rayleigh sounds better. Wait. Was that playing through my headphones? Or my, that is not playing through my headphones at all. Wait a second. Okay. Like, what the heck? I, it was playing through my speakers for some reason. <clears throat> Sound was pretty bad. So yeah, yeah, it was coming through my, it was coming through my, my speakers. I have no clue why. Um, Is this better now? Yeah, that should be better. Okay. So yeah, they tore down the statue of confederate soldiers in in Rayleigh. Yeah, my my I think it it, it may have. It should be better now. I think it's better now actually. <clears throat> and we can take a look at that cuz they did they did this to a couple of them and I'm pretty happy about it. There's a whole concerted effort. Heave. And down it falls. And down it falls. But not only that. They went. Here's another angle of it. They had a couple of guys climb this. Um, they had a couple of guy, uh, guys climb the uh, obelisk. Because this is a massive 75 foot tall obelisk. Uh, that you're seeing right here. It looks like Doug Dimidon's hat. That's why it goes off screen. It's just that it's incredibly tall. Um, They did that. And they also, after that, dragged the statue through the streets. 
and um, they tore two down actually I believe the second the second one that I showed you of the statue coming down that was the second statue there are two statues that they took down from this massive uh, Confederate monument in uh, uh, in their town and um, after they did that they just <laughs> um, uh, the uh, the statue actually uh, made it uh, made it loose and uh, they couldn't find it for a little bit and later the statue was found uh, after it was being uh, after it was being shown uh, uh, hanging from a lamp post uh, <laughs> from a street light uh, on the street nearby um, authorities are looking into it people are thinking that uh, right now it's being claimed as uh, being a, a suicide um, so uh, RIP in peace fallen confederate soldier um we're not sure if there was any um <laughs> foul play but uh the statue did seem to hang itself it's very sad very very sad um but i think this is great uh and actually the town decided to after the people showed their discontent for uh <laughs> for this um uh, for this massive obelisk with uh the confederate soldiers on it the town decided to remove the rest of the soldiers and remove the entire monument itself. So there's another um, there was another statue actually on top of the uh, on top of the monument that people just couldn't really reach. But it seems like the city is going to take it into their own hands to take that apart themselves. And um, I think this is great. And I think it's great that these sorts of protests, these sorts of movements have been able to get the eye of our elected officials who seem to be so unconcerned with the actual happenings inside of their districts and only care have a tunnel view vision of what will just and do the bare minimum of what will just get them elected and put enough money in their pockets and when people do things like this it's incredibly hard to look away it's incredibly hard to it's incredibly hard to not understand what people are saying okay i think if this happens it's a pretty clear indication of what people want and uh, the statue um, seemingly and sadly hanging itself is a pretty decent um, <laughs> metaphor for how people feel about what these people stood for in their lives it's symbolism it's symbolism in a very good in a very you know good way I am a hundred percent for this but not for political violence no one should hang in real life but statues accidentally hanging themselves really I mean he should have been on suicide watch. Um, it's really, it's really sad that that happened. Um, someone should have uh, called the authorities. But um, destroying Confederate monuments has always been American heritage, and I'm so glad to see my brothers and sisters down in North Carolina continue such a glorious and illustrious tradition of letting the losers of of our country, the terrorist traitors of our country, know that they are not wanted here anymore. This is a cultural shift that's happening, and it's happening very fast, and it's happening very swiftly, and it's going to be big and strong, and thick even as well. And I'm here for it. Every single second of it, I'm very glad um, that people are coming to grips with our history and want to do something about it. Uh, this is not erasing history. You can read about all of these men in a book if you would like. No one's going to start deleting all the information about these people or what they did. And I hope no one does because what they did, the reason why these things are coming down is exactly why they are coming down. Um, what they did is the reason why people are so angry with them. And these are the first things to be taken down because they're in people's face and they're the most obvious, um, they're the most obvious uh, depiction of the scars on our country uh that are now just beginning to heal and i'm i'm here for it every moment 